you something else. I ain't gonna say nothing, but look at me, look at you. That's the saying that everybody likes to use nowadays, especially when it comes to whatever it might be. Normally, you might find it on someone's dating profile when it says, before you message me, look at me and look at you and make sure it makes sense. But what is not making sense is, why would you put that anyway? Why don't you just be open and honest about, hey, you have to look good in order to be with me. Stop using this intro sentence to make it seem like someone or something of importance when we know you're really not. You're just someone who's superficial and think you have every day and think you look the best out of everybody when you're really not. The teacher tells me real beauty's on the inside. That's just something I remember. We are almost in the same boat. Just because you have your own every day and you're looking for someone to have that, say that. But don't make the open statement, look at me and look at you and make it make sense. Remember, some people out there don't think that they're the best, but they still have the best confidence when it comes to themselves. Just because they don't look 1 million percent, just because they don't look like some fancy high level celebrity to where you have people flocking around does not mean that you should be the one to ridicule them for at least trying. I mean, you sometimes you might not get to the moon on a tricycle. But at least you're trying. I know that's very that's very stupid to say, but it's still the analogy that it shows you that people are willing to try no matter what. Just because they don't look the best does not mean that you should be shooting them down. Look at me and look at you. Yes, look at me and look at you and make that make sense. Are you capable enough to have more than just a conversation more than about your looks? Because nowadays, people don't even know how to conversate with nobody. All you do, you're just sitting there gawking at this person thinking, Oh my god, they look like this, and they look like that. But 9 times out of 10, they have nothing to go with their looks. Because some people are just dumb. Yes, and I mean really dumb. So all you have is your looks. That's all you have in this world to get over. But we all know, sooner or later, those looks are not... And I mean, are not going to be there forever. You might only have them for a good 20, 25, 30 years before it all starts to go downhill, depending on how you treat yourself and how you treat others. Because some things can last longer than others. They really can. It's just all more about how you go about yourself and everyday life and how you treat people. So in a sense, look at me, but really look at you. Look at you and try to decide, are you one to really say that? Because when you tell that to others, you're more saying, I don't really care who you are. It's more about how you look, how presumable you are, how much I can wrap you up and put you in this nice, beautiful bowl to say, yep, I got the best of everything in this little whoever it might be. And I'm not just saying for men, I'm not just saying for women because men and women do it or most are more so women than actual men. So I ain't going to say nothing, but women, look at yourself before you start looking at others. This just drives me crazy, but I'm sick of these outlets. Always on the floor. Every time I try and plug something in, well, you I have to move furniture. I, I strain my back. Why can't outlets be up here at, no. eye, at eye level? Eye level? Well, what, what are they, like genitals? We have to hide them? Why are we hiding out? I ain't going to say nothing, but... Don't you hate it when you go to plug in your charger, right? And you're trying to look for it behind like your couch or behind your dresser or behind something like your TV. Let's just say that. And you can't find it because you got to go all the way down to the lower fucking wall to where the goddamn baseboard is. I mean, I ain't going to say nothing, but why can't we just have uh, outlets that are just straight eye level? Like right here, that like comes, you know, somewhere between, like between your legs all the way to your neck, like right in the middle. Just nice eye level to where you just straight plug that bitch right in. I mean, it's it's fucking ridiculous. It really is. Why can't we just have outlets that are right there in the middle? Like you know how you put your dresser and just think of this for a minute. You know how you just put your dresser. And you flush it against the wall 
flush yes people flush it against the wall and then you put your TV there and everything's sitting there but then now you gotta bring out your dresser and then plug it down all the way down at the bottom why can't it just really just be flush behind the TV I don't understand when contractors are when they're starting to build houses and they're starting to put everything which away when it comes to the corners the ends where things meet how how um, how the electricians are going to start do things and they run things all the way down to the basement depending on where the circuit breaker is and the, and the board and all that why do they decide to put outlets all the way down at the bottom like I don't get that because it only happens here in America in other countries they have them eye level they really do and you can do your research because I'm pretty sure you'll be able to find it but why is it that only here in America they put them down at the bottom at the bottom of the baseboard I ain't gonna say nothing but that shit is fucked up like I know I'm not the only one who's tired and I mean actually tired of bringing out the wall and then putting in especially if you have like a big brick charger like that has maybe one or two and then it's just down there so you can't push it all the way then because then you'll fuck up the cable you'll fuck up the wire to where it won't be charging like it was when it first when you first started using it I mean it's some dumb goofy shit it really is and it's it's irking irking to the nerves that everything's down at the bottom when we all know dressers desks tv stands uh wall units whatever it might be it's just all the way down at the bottom at the baseboards like why they do that we already see like when the the like if you ever watch any type of home makeover show and they start rebuilding the walls and they go inside and they reposition it you already see that the wires are running downwards not upwards so why can they not just put a nice little outlet in the middle of the wall where it's going to be especially now since everybody is starting to really get their TVs mounted to the wall now you see people using strips of tape to where it covers up to where you don't see it or they'll just get black tape and they'll repaint the wall and they'll tape over it they it's some of it looks tacky some of it looks well done it just depends on who's doing it whether it's white people or niggas because niggas have their own ways of doing things we all know that white people they just try to make it look so beautiful so dolled up and whatnot us niggas we don't care as long as it's on the wall that's fine but still again why can it not just be almost three quarters upwards to where it's maybe a little bit under a dresser or a table or even flushed under the TV? Why can't it just be out there so you're not bending backwards all the way down underwards? I mean, well, under, <laughs> under a table or under a dresser or under wherever it might be. I ain't going to say nothing, but outlets, they need to be more higher. I ain't gonna say nothing, but when is free speech actually going to be free speech? I mean, in a matter of opinion, court of opinion, or even Twitter opinion, because Twitter seems to have more opinion than anything because of the people that is on there, it's almost like free speech is not free. Um, at one time, we used to be able to say any and everything about whatever it might be, but now now since the internet has been booming the way it has been for the last 20 some years and it, everything has seemed to go on to twitter it's almost like you can't say anything without being ridiculed about how you feel and how you see things i mean it's almost like you can say it but you can say it but then you know something is going to come about it because people are going to say something and make it seem like what you say does not matter i mean free speech is not free it's not free at all because you can't say your own opinion without something being said and without people feel like their feelings are going to get hurt like i'm not saying things to hurt your feelings but it's more like don't ask for an opinion and then when the opinion is given then you want to get mad at that person for how they feel remember we are all different individuals yes we might have the same mind we might have same ears same eyes same nose 
different face. We are all are built different. Our minds are built different. Our life experiences are different from the next person. I'm pretty sure whoever is watching this and who's ever seeing this thinking like, yeah, I'm different. But then again, that does not mean just because my opinion is different from yours does not make me less than thou. It really does it. But then they say, this is America. We have freedom of speech. But sometimes freedom of speech is not free. It's almost like a bag of chips. Because you know when you open a bag of chips, you're thinking, damn, I'm getting a deal. But then when you open it, what happens? Air comes out. Compressed air because they're not giving you a full bag of chips. So it's almost like a full opinion is not going to happen. Because anytime it's about to happen, people always want to cut it before you begin to say anything that you feel that you need to say and get it off your chest. So I ain't going to say nothing, but free speech will never be free, especially in the core of Twitter, because people have their own judge and jury when it comes to Twitter, and people will shut it down real quick. So I ain't going to say nothing, but free speech, it just ain't free anymore. Do something else.